Hello and welcome back to my video tutorial on Vector. So in this uh, tutorial we'll be looking at another proof question from Vector and here what we have to prove is that the figure formed by joining the midpoints of adjacent sides of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So here we are given a quadrilateral figure with four sides so here ABCD is our quadrilateral and the point S is the midpoint of side AD point P is midpoint of side AB Q is midpoint of BC and R is midpoint of DC now if we join all these midpoints P Q R and S uh, we'll get another quadrilateral and we have to prove that this quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of sides of our uh, previous uh, quadrilateral ABCD should be a quad uh, sorry should be a parallelogram it means the opposite sides they should be parallel and equal as well so if we can show that the side PS is parallel to side QR and similarly side SR if it is parallel to side PQ, then we can definitely say that PQRS is our required parallelogram. So the first step I'm going to do here is I'll join point D, sorry, point B to D. So I'll get this line segment PD after joining point B to D. And if I look into the triangle, if I look into the triangle BAD, triangle bad, then you know, by applying the triangle law of vector radiation, what I get is vector BD. So moving from point B to point D is same as moving from point D to A, sorry, B to A, and then again from A to D. So I can write vector BA plus vector AD. So this is what we can write from triangle law of vector radiation. And we are also given that point P is the midpoint of side AB. So I can write uh, BA. For BA, I can write it is equal to twice of vector PA. So this vector BA, it means moving from point B to A, is double of this vector PA in magnitude. So we should consider the same direction from B to A and P to A we can write we cannot write here AP instead of PA because the direction is reverse and it will just not talk about the direction so similarly for AD so AD is moving from point A to D and I can write it is double of vector AS so if I take two common I get PA plus AS and here BD is equal to twice PA plus AS and and if we look into triangle PAS so this triangle right here so moving from point PA PA to AS is same as moving from point directly to point S from point P to S so for this I can just replace vector PS so BP is equal to twice of vector PS and I can write that vector PS if I divide both sides by 2 then I can simply write PS is equal to half of vector BP. Now what uh, we can write is if we look in this triangle BAD here P and S are the midpoint of triangle BAD and uh, this line segment PS is the line segment that is formed by joining the two midpoints of sides of a triangle so if the length of the a line segment formed by joining the midpoints of a triangle is half of the uh, opposite side or half of the third side then the lines must also be parallel so this is our theorem so due to this reason what we can write uh, for this statement is that vector PS is parallel to vector BP because the line so segment formed by joining the midpoints of sides of a triangle formed by joining the midpoints of sides of a triangle is equal to half of the third side. If this line segment is equal to half of the third side, 
then it should also be parallel to the third side. So from that uh, region, we can write P S. Vector P S is parallel to vector B D. Sorry, here should be V D, not B P. Now I'll do the similar for second part. Uh, now this time, what I'll do is I'll take triangle B C D. Last time I've taken triangle B A D. Now I'll take triangle B C D and um, do the same. Uh, so here, uh, side B D. So this side moving from point B to D is same as moving from point B to C, and then again returning back to D. So vector B D is equal to vector B C plus vector C D. And uh, since we know that this uh, twice of uh, this side Q C is equal to side B C since Q is the midpoint, so simply I can write um, twice Q C for side B C and twice C R since R is the midpoint. I can write twice of C R. If we add two C R, then we can get C D. So twice C R for C D. If I take two common. I get QC plus CR is equal to BD and QC plus CR. Now, moving from point Q to point C and again returning back to R by applying the triangle of vector addition is same as moving directly from point Q to R. So, I can substitute or plug in QR instead of QC vector plus CR vector. So I can write BD is equal to twice of QR. Now if I divide both sides by 2, I get the value for QR. And QR is equal to 1 half of vector BD. Now since QR is equal to 1 half of BD by applying the same conclusion or the same reason, here, what we can write is QR side must also be parallel to side BD. So our second conclusion, conclusion number two, is QR is parallel to BD. Now, by the help of conclusion number one and two, we can see that this line PS is parallel to line BD as well. And QR is also parallel to line BD. So since PS is parallel to BD and if BD is also parallel to QR, we can write that PS is parallel to QR by using conclusion number 1 and conclusion number 2. Our final conclusion is PS is parallel to QR and by applying the same concept, we can show that PQ, so PQ is also parallel to, uh, by using the same, so by using the same logic, we can show that PQ and SR are parallel as well and equal. So for that, what you have to do now to prove this, you just have to join A and C, this diagonal you should consider. And since PQ is also uh, equal to vector AC and SR is also equal to half of vector AC, you can see that they are equal in magnitude as well. and Mm, they are parallel to each other. So since the opposite sides of uh, our quadrilateral PQ areas uh, are equal and also parallel, we can say that PQRS is a, a parallelogram. So finally, we have our conclusion that the figure formed by joining the midpoint of adjacent sides of a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So uh, here PQRS is our parallelogram and ABCD is our Mm, quadrilateral. Uh, I hope it is clear to you and thanks for watching.